Hey guys, so today I have my Friday favorites for you. I had a quick tragedy right before I started filming and I was like, I gotta curl my eyelashes. And I'm like curling them really fast and my hand like moved and I just, a chunk of eyelashes just came out. <sighs> There's nothing worse. I hope you guys had a good week this week. I am, as you probably know if you saw my last video, I'm moving to Seattle in a month and I am currently like, ultra stress just trying to figure everything out and I, I feel like this coming up like month is just packed with something every day like every weekend it's like I don't know I'm just like going a little crazy also before I start with my favorites I did want to mention Ulta is currently having a buy one get one free of their agave oil which you guys all know I love and use all the time it's like you know I, I mentioned it in a previous favorites video like two weeks ago I will put a link to that down below in case you guys want to see my thoughts on it but Ulta is having buy one two ounce agave oil get one free so I'll put like the info down below for you guys if you want to order online but take advantage of it now because it's like it's so perfect for summer okay my first favorite is my nails I am so obsessed with this color. If I could find an ideal color, this would probably be it. So there are a lot of subscription boxes out there. I know you guys, I don't really talk about them very often. I used to, but then I just kind of stopped. But I did want to mention this one to you guys because I'm so obsessed with this nail polish. This is by Colt. So it's like, you can just buy nail polish online. You don't need to do a monthly subscription box, which is why I think you all should buy this nail polish. Um, but you do, you can, if you want to, do... it's I think it's only 10 Pretty sure it's $10 a month. And you get two full-size nail polishes. And these are five a five-free formula. A lot of nail polishes are only three free. This is five. So they're made in California. You get two full-size nail polishes and then a full-size beauty product. Here's the, the lip product. It's like a matte lip cream and it has the light-up thing here. So here are the two nail polishes that I got. This one is called Melrose Place. It's a silver. And this one is called Catalina. And it's the most perfect periwinkle color I could ever imagine. I love it so much. And you really, truly only need one coat. And the first time I applied this, I was like, whoa, you only need one coat. And a lot of companies claim that, but they're not, you still can like use another coat. The only thing is if you do the monthly subscription for 10 bucks, you don't get to pick your color. So they will pick it based on trends going on. So, I mean, you still get two nail polishes and a beauty product, which is pretty sweet. I think last month it was a mascara, but this is my first box. So check it out. I will put a link to it down below. I also have a coupon code. So that'll be listed in the down bar as well. Okay, next up I have my Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. This is the chill one. This is cooling and hydrating. It's oil-free, paraben-free, temperature control technology. Mine's so dirty. So I have been using the Urban Decay Makeup Setting Sprays for a super long time. These are made, they're by Scandinavia and people get confused. But I've tried the, the chill one. This used to be the do it was like the dewy finish and then I tried the all-nighter and they both I really like them both I prefer this one because it gives your skin a really cool feeling when you put it on so this is perfect for the summer because it just is so refreshing I do feel like it does give my skin a little bit of a dewy finish still I don't know like how different this formula is compared to the old one but I like it just just the same a lot of my friends always ask me how do you keep your makeup to stay all day long and what do I need to buy and I feel like a lot of people kind of debate between like a primer, do I need a primer or a setting spray. For me I see primers as a a way to smooth your face, get a nice smooth canvas before you put on your makeup. It kind of evens out your skin tone, your coloring, all that good stuff. But I prefer setting sprays to really help my makeup last all day. Like if I ever am doing bridal makeup I always always use this after and I just douse their face in this so this is perfect I mean obviously still use like an eye primer for your eyeshadow but this kind of locks everything in place and it even if your face is looking a little bit cakey after you apply your makeup this will kind of make it look a little bit more natural so if you don't have a setting spray you really should get one you can always get the small travel size one at Sephora 
see how good it is, and then get the full size. I think it's totally worth it. Next up, I have a lip gloss. This is by Senna Cosmetics. I've mentioned them a couple times here and there. I've been like, I got some stuff like a few months back, and then I ordered some more because they were having a sale, so I wanted to kind of stock up. This is the lipstick in the shade Demure, and it is a gorgeous nude, like the perfect nude. Okay, I know I talked about a nude lipstick last week, so I'm going to compare the two and show you that they are different, um, but this one I pulled up to see, it has like some really neat ingredients in here. There is hyaluronic acid in here, which is supposed to help fill your lips. Also, vitamin E, shea butter, and jojoba oil to hydrate, condition, and protect. Let me put this on my hand for you. I also have a MAC Dazzle, Dazzle Glass underneath, and I put this on top. So here is that right there. So it's just a beautiful, neutral nude. So last week I talked about the Buxom lipstick, and I'm going to compare the two for you. They just have completely different finishes. So it just kind of depends on what type of lip gloss or lipstick you like. So they look so similar. So, okay, this is the Buxom one. This is more of like a matte finish. And then the Senna one is like a hydrating, almost has like a glossy sheen to it. So, okay, did not realize they are almost the exact same color. Apparently you don't need both of these, but I love them both. Like. Is this excessive? Next up I have a new dry shampoo that I've been using. This is by Alterna. I love Alterna products. I think it's such a great hair care line if you are looking for more of a high-end hair care line, but it is free of so many chemicals and it's really, really good for your hair. The line of this is the Caviar Anti-Aging, so all like the purple packaging products are the Caviar Anti-Aging products. So this says, refresh and re-energize without water, free of parabens, sulfates, phthalates, synthetic color. Extend your blowout, it refreshes hair in between washings, it is talc free. Yeah, I mean, you know what a dry shampoo does. So this, this comes off like this, and I usually am not a fan of powder dry shampoos. Like, I like to spray it in my hair and it just seems easier to me, but this, for some reason, is super easy because I like how it has a pointed tip. Just kind of pour it out like that and then you just shake it in it makes your hair feel light a lot of dry shampoos can be really heavy in your hair and it makes your hair feel dirtier but this gives your hair like a lightness to it it feels really clean um, the first time I used this my hair was like on its third day of not being washed and it was just not a, not a good look so I used that and it made my hair look like I had just actually washed it which is the point of a dry shampoo but a lot of them don't really do that so I really love this and oh it just feels great it feels really good and last I have a body scrub this is by the company organic Fiji it's the pineapple and coconut organic sugar polish I got this off of Vitacost and I had always wanted to try this but for some reason I've never ordered it before it looks a lot smaller online I thought it was like half the size of this but it's, it's big it is how big is this uh, 20 ounces. So this has in here certified organic cold pressed coconut oil, certified organic cane sugar and pineapple coconut blend. It is gluten free, fair trade, uh, cruelty free. This is supposed to naturally exfoliate, detoxify, detoxify and unclog pores. It smells amazing. It smells so good. The reason I love this scrub is because when it really scrubs really nicely on your skin but it leaves a like a nice oil residue after. I know some people don't care for that, but I love that. Like that's what I look in my scrubs is to just moisturize my skin at the same time. Careful though, it does make your shower really slippery because of the oils. So just like watch out for that. Perfect for summertime because the scent is so like tropical, so good. My skin feels amazing. I use it almost every single day because I just love the way it feels. So if you guys need a new body scrub, definitely check this one out. I hope you guys all enjoyed my favorites for this week. I hope you have a good weekend and I will actually be posting on Sunday this this Sunday instead of Monday so um, come back on Sunday. I'll have my videos for this coming week are gonna be Sunday, Tuesday, Friday. Just want to let you guys know. So I will see you soon. Bye!